My name is Ndebu Ngobo. I am a, an HOD for the Department of Civil Engineering Technology at UJ Dorenfontein campus. Our department is um, accredited by Engineering Council of South Africa, which is EXA, and it is also internationally recognized through Sydney, Dublin and Washington Accord. And we've got a couple of students who are already working overseas in countries like Dubai, Australia and Canada. In order for students to be admitted into civil engineering technology, students need to have an APS score of 28 minimum and they need a minimum APS score of uh, 5 for English, Mathematics and Physical Sciences. Civil engineers basically, um, they design, they plan and they construct infrastructure. Infrastructure as it relates to civil engineering refers to roads, buildings, water reticulation systems. If you qualify as a civil engineer, you might be expected to maybe work in a design office where you are doing the design of a building or design of a road or design of water reticulation systems. Some people prefer to work on site and work for a construction company. And in, though, in that case, the person will be responsible for taking the drawings that, um, that were designed in the consulting engineering office and put those into what it was intended for. So, meaning you will be expected to build the, a house or to build um, the road that was designed or to, to build those structures. So you can choose to either work for consultants or, or construction company. Other areas of employment include um, working for municipalities. You can work also for the private sector. You can also work for oil companies. But at the end of the day, civil engineers, they plan, they design, and they construct infrastructure. Students interested in studying PH Tech Civil Engineering should be able to work in teams because when you are in the work environment, you are not going to be working alone. Because of the nature of the construction industry, you, you need to be able to be flexible in terms of traveling. Yes, this industry is male dominated, but we see more and more um, female students venturing into this, this uh, qualification. But also, not just the qualification, if you look at um, in, in, if you look at consulting engineering firms, construction, you also see a lot of, of women going into these areas. And I think the construction industry as well has, is harnessing, the, the, is accepting, and they have made provision, and um, they have improved as well their, their site conditions to be suitable for women. The department has got um, a couple of um, laboratories. We've got the structures, heavy structures lab, light structures lab, um, water, geotech, and our labs, uh, we also have the bitumen lab. Our lab are fully equipped uh, to assist students in terms of their practical work. But over and above that, we, we try to get students to experience um, site conditions as much as we possibly can. So we, we try and have site visits on a regular basis. Our department has got a civil engineering forum that is managed by students, but it is also funded by the South African Institution of Civil Engineers, SAISI. And um, SAISI usually have annual uh, functions where they give awards to best performing students, best performing forum. We also have organizations that fund our students in terms of tuition fees, um, accommodation and the likes and these students uh, uh, end up performing well because they have got financial support and we also would like to recognize those, those organizations. So in line with the UJ's vision of 4IR, our department is looking at upgrading the computer lab for it to be ready for installation for, of BIM. And BIM is your building information modeling. This software, in conjunction with drone technology, can be used to, to assist construction projects. For example, 
Um, if you've got drones, you can use, send the drones to site. You don't need to have a physical person on site. And the drones can collect data in terms of uh, progress on building construction, in terms of material quantities, compare quantities from, from yesterday to today or this week and next week. And that information can be loaded into BIM and uh, uh, calculations can be done in terms of um, progress with regards to the to, to construction. We're also trying to find ways of assisting students who do not have um, construction experience or background or computers where they come from. So we are looking at um, having things like virtual reality where students can better learn the concepts that are used in, in civil engineering and in construction. So these, these are the two um, areas that we are looking at to address the issue of OIR. My name is Nikosha Ramsavak from Centurion, Pretoria. Currently a second year student, um, the reason why I chose to study civil engineering is because I would like to make a difference in the development of rural areas especially because I know that I can provide them with a better, for example, water system. My name is Christian Eri. I'm originally from Congo, DRC, and I'm studying civil engineering technology. So the reason why I chose civil engineering technology is I think it's a bit funny because when I came here on my way from the airport, I saw the backflow interchange and I was so excited. So I wanted to be one of those that builds those infrastructures. I would like to help my community to build better structures and housing for everyone. Yeah.